Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another quick and easy StreamYard tutorial. I actually have my StreamYard shirt on today by coincidence. Hey, my name is Rob Balasavis. Really excited to jump into this tutorial with you. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the custom background music feature that StreamYard just recently launched. All right, so let me share my screen and let's get started. All right, so first of all, if you're watching this video, then most likely you already have a StreamYard account all set up, ready to go. But if you don't, for any reason, make sure that you get a StreamYard account set up. You can actually get a 14-day free trial by going and clicking the link in the description that's gonna give you a free trial. So go ahead, set that up, go with the pro plan so you get access to all the good features and all the fun stuff there, and then we can just jump back into this tutorial. All right, so, so how can you upload your custom, your own background music, all right? So a little bit of context here. Now you can already use background music inside of StreamYard, but now they've recently launched this new feature that was highly, highly requested by a lot of folks in the community to upload your own custom background music, all right? So let's get background music first. So first of all, you can get background music, royalty-free music from a lot of different places. I happen to get mine from a site called Epidemic Sound. Um, I'll put a link down below as well. I think I have an affiliate account, affiliate link, but if not, I'll put a link to Epidemic Sound. You can get started, they're awesome over there. All right, so if you go and log into your Epidemic Sound account, you can go and download a track here. So I'm gonna download this one, 368. It's laid back, smooth, <laughs> old school hip hop. All right, so I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna download the full mix. All right, there it is. It's in my uh, computer here. And now I'm gonna go and jump into StreamYard. So again, if you haven't set up StreamYard yet, click the link below, let's get a, get yourself a StreamYard account, all right? So you can follow along this tutorial. Now, I have my StreamYard account here. I have a broadcast already lined up. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the Enter Studio. You're gonna go Enter Studio right there. And now it's gonna bring me into the studio. I'm gonna turn off the mic and the camera for the time being. And then we're gonna enter the studio. All right, so now we're in the studio. So now where do you go from here? All right, you're gonna go into the brand tab. All right, I'm gonna point it out here so that you can see it right here, brand tab, where I'm pointing on the right-hand side of the window. All right, so click on the brand tab. Now you're gonna scroll down on the right-hand side. You see me scrolling on the right-hand side and you're gonna to go to the very bottom and it's gonna say background music, right? You see that right there? Background music, okay? Background music right there, okay? Really easy. Now we're gonna keep on scrolling because now here are the ones that are actually already built into StreamYard. It's already been uploaded. This is free, it's part of your account. But now they've got this new button here at the very bottom and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna hopefully can zoom in there. There you go. It says add music. All right, we're gonna click on this add music button right here, okay? Zoom out again. Click on add music. All right, now you're gonna get this pop-up. It's gonna be pretty straightforward from here, but let me walk you right through it. So I've got my music file right on the bottom left of my screen. I've already downloaded this music track, so I can actually just drag and drop it into this box right here or I can click on add music. So let me do the add music uh, button right there. See my music track right here, my MP3 track. And now it is processing, it's uploading. You can see that right there, processing. There it is, processing. All right, and it's ready. Okay, so we're gonna play this. I don't know if you can hear it, but I know I can hear it. So I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is now playing. So now I can play this track during my live stream in the background. I can also go up here and control how loud I want that music to play. I can also control if I want that to loop, right? If you've got a five minute track and you have a longer live stream, then you wanna make sure that it loops. So there are the volume controls and also the loop controls right here, all right? So very, very handy, very easy to find, okay? Now, I also wanna mention a couple things for uh, this particular feature, right? I wanna make sure that it is very clear exactly how you can use it. I'm gonna just jump back on the screen here. So real quick things to uh, mention. Who can access this? Both, both the host and the co-host can now upload tracks and music tracks 
background music into the brand tab. What plans are the is this particular feature on? It's going to be on all the paid plans, all paid plans only. Free plans, you'll see an upgrade button. It'll say call to act, a call to action button to upgrade when you click on the add music button. So you will need to have a free a paid plan to use this feature. All right. Um, also. The file formats that are going to be supported, it was it's going to be .ogg files, .wav files, .mp3 files, .m4a files, .aac files, .wma files, up to a file size of 50 megabytes. All right, MBs, 50 MBs. All right. And so there you have it. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions about this feature, let me know what you think of this feature. Are you gonna be using it? I will definitely be using it. it. You can use music, background music, but also you can upload sound effects, which really will make your live streams really fun. All right, so there you have it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here in this video. If you have any questions, drop them into the chat. That's what we're here for. Make sure you subscribe as well. Consider subscribing if you found this video helpful. And also, of course, make sure you put a thumbs up for this video. All right. Talk to you soon and uh, hope you enjoy this feature. All right. Take care.